Hey everybody, welcome to Jojo Fitness with me, Jo, and to today's workout that I'm calling Double Top. It's two minutes of work and it's 20 exercises, so it's 40 minutes in total. If you have got them, I do recommend that you use some hand weights or maybe a Dyna band, a resistance band if you have one of those, but everything can be done with body weight so you don't have to use anything if you don't want to. I always ask, of course, if you do enjoy it, please like, share, subscribe, and then hit that bell. Let me know you have been watching. And if you want to get in touch, then the comments below, there is all the ways to do that. So have a look down there in the class description for contact information. I hope you have a really great class. I hope you really love it. And when you're ready, we will begin. Grab your weights, even from the off, but I've gone for light weights to begin with. Um, might take them up. I'm going to start the timer. We've got to squat and press. So hands by shoulders. So squat down, press up. So it's a really nice warm up exercise. So you're warming up into the legs, arms and shoulders. Now, if you want a bit more in the arms, you can do a curl and press. Um, I'm just doing a squat press. Two minutes of this will make you very nice and warm, very blowy. Get you going. So taking it nice and steady. Remember, bum going backwards, sitting down in the chair, so not pushing those knees forwards. Keep the chest lifted, keep looking forwards. Try and keep the weight evenly, or if anything, load back into your heels so your toes are a little light. Don't push when you. Pushing through the knees, you'll find that your heels come up and your toes feel heavy and heels feel light. You want the opposite of that. With the press, just straight up and down. Try not to hunch the shoulders. Don't lock out the arms, so don't snap at the top. Last 10 seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going till the beats. I'm just gonna take my cardigan off. We've got knees and squeeze. So that is a drop, row, and lift. So it's a deadlift, a row, and a lift. So arms straight, arms bend, straight, straight. Straight arms, bend, straighten, straighten the legs. So you're sticking your bottom out as if you're trying to push a button on the wall behind you. Long through your spine, so we're not rounding the back. And you pull the elbows past the rib cage, pulling the weights into your belly button. Knees, squeeze. So it's squeezing the shoulder blades. Weights go to the knees, squeeze the shoulder blades back and up. So you're working hamstrings, and the back, obviously a bit of arm work in there. Whenever you bend the elbow, you'll be working biceps or whenever you straighten the elbow. Triceps, so a little bit of that, a little bit of chest maybe as well, because they work with the back. A bit of shoulders, and then you've got these lovely big legs working in the dead part of it. Nice. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. Really try and activate your abs. They are your biggest set of stabilizers. So they will help. Just into those last 20 seconds. Again, was looking for something that would help us really warm up. After this one, You've got a walking press up or odd press up, whichever you want to call it. So you're going to come down, pop the weights to one side, set your hands up in normal press up and then walk 
your hands until one is in front of you, one is at the side. So you've got an odd hand arrangement and the walking part of it is because you're changing them each time. So right to left, left out, and then left in, right out, or vice versa, whichever way you're doing. So you've got this, you've got it on your knees if you need to, you've got it on your toes if you can, weight's in the way there. Um, you can do a bit of both, so maybe do one rep of toes and then a lot of reps on your knees. You can even do this box shape where you are hips over knees, so knees is kind of three quarters. I'm just, now my elbow is feeling much better, I've been doing yoga for the past three weeks, my elbow seems to have recovered more in those three weeks than it has done in the whole, what, nine months before that, whatever it has been, um, and now my knee hurts, so of course, I can't now kneel very well, so I've got a swollen, puffy knee, that gives me a bit of pain, so you just kind of get over one thing and something else breaks down. I guess that's a good thing. If they all start breaking down together, I will be worrying and not being able to do anything. But with it's just being one thing at a time, you can find modifications and keep going. It's just a little bit frustrating. So, not doing a lot of stuff where I'm having to put a lot of pressure through the knees. Last 15, that's seconds, not reps. There's always something that lets us know we're alive, isn't there? A little bit of pain, you know you're still here. Alrighty, well done. We're gonna do rotator lifts, so I'm just gonna sit back because that feels good for me. So you lift up, turn up, turn down, in. So elbows are bent, your hands are out in front of you, if you can see that line. Lift the elbows and the hands all in one line, then lift the hands above, down and in. So this is rotator, up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Rotator cuff in the back, made up of three odd muscles. Um, let's see if I can remember them. Infraspinata. Teres major and teres minor, something like that. Doesn't matter, you can go and look it up for yourself. But they do these movements. So, called the rotator cuff. People quite often come to me and say, I've got a rotator cuff injury. And I have to know which muscle, because different parts of it do different things. So, if you've got an injury there, that's only half the story, because it could be this movement, it could be this movement, it could be hands above head, which we'll be doing later on. So if you've ever hurt your rotator cuff, then you usually just damage one of those muscles, not all of them, unless you're very unlucky, of course. Last 30 seconds, gosh, I can really feel this one. Ah. that but you have to really think about it don't you lift open close down otherwise you get start getting like you're flapping we don't want to flap we want to work nice last one good renegade row so step up I'm gonna step up my knee that's and you're pulling so lay your chest on your thighs again a little bit of a side view and you're squeezing those shoulder blades and pulling those hands up as if you're trying to wrap the weight into your underarms. But when you do that, don't roll on your wrists. So I call this, you know if you remember like a pony on a stick from when you were a kid? It's like that, like a little hobby horse that you shape that you make with the weights and hands. So don't do that, wrists are strong. You're just pulling in that direction. I don't want you to be so focused on the underarms that you're rolling your wrists to get the weights under there. So this is kind of how I've set it up. These five exercises we did, sort of legs with the squat with a shoulder press, with sort of legs with the knees and squeeze. If you're doing renegade rows, kneeling, change sides, 
Ooh, see if I can do this for a minute on this knee. Press up chest, obviously, with a bit of back. Rotator, obviously, rotator cuff, shoulders, back and chest, and then the renegade rows for the back. Um, obviously, shoulders and arms, there's never a way really to isolate one muscle. It's just the dominant muscle. So really feel like you're squeezing your shoulder blades together, pulling those weights up. And then that's that set of five. That's the first 10 minutes. We're gonna come back with two lunges, two squats. So it's two lunges on one leg, and then two squats in the middle to change. So it's alternating. In three, two, one. Coming up. So keep those weights in your hands. So if you're working with me, this is your right leg. Lunge, and then lunge, and then squat, and then squat. So it's stepping back, lunge, and lunge, and squat, and squat. Of course, you can step forward if you prefer a stepping forward lunge, and lunge, and then squat and squat. You can do your own tempo if I'm going too slow or too fast for you. You can slow it down or speed it up. if you want or not. So make sure you're not pulsing those lunges, you're going out and in, out and in. I think there is a pulsing lunge coming up later. I definitely looked at it as an option, so I can't really remember. I believe it is. This just makes it slightly different. Full range of motion. When you lunge, making sure you step far enough that you are keeping that front knee above the ankle and not pushing it forwards over your toes. Squats, sitting back again to that chair. I've forgotten which leg I'm on now. Okay, well done. Triple row, I'm just finishing off because you know I can't leave something midway. So tip, three, two, one, and stand up. So squeeze, 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 lift. So you've got this dead, and then row, two, three, and rise. Squeeze the buttocks as you come up. So if you're trying to grab a piece of paper, between your ass cheeks, squeeze. Don't thrust it forwards, but squeeze it. Arms, drag them up again, sort of base of the rib cage, elbows going wide. And again, watching the wrists for that little pony head, little hobby horse. It's quite easy to roll those wrists. If you are rolling the wrist, I do recommend going in the gym, doing this on a machine. That's the safest way to kind of learn a new exercise. And you won't be able to roll the wrist because the machine is set. When you've got free weights like this, dumbbells are the easiest thing to cheat and to get wrong because they're so freely moving. And obviously in between all of that, you've got barbells, which make it a bit trickier again, because you've got that straight bar in front of you. Okay, keep going. Three, two, and one. Lovely, nearly at the end of this one. You've got just a regular press up coming up. Remember you can do this with a band, so I should have put those options in. Nothing for press-ups, just straight press-ups. 
So you can do it if you've got a resistance band. And I'll try and remember to show you how to set up for that when we're doing those kinds of exercises. So hands wider than your mat, trying to get your chest down between your thumbs rather than pulling back and dropping here. Try and get your chest down. It doesn't have to go all the way to the floor, you just have to bend your elbows and push against the floor to lift up. different to the odd walking press up I can certainly feel this stretching across my chest um, into my triceps and my biceps that walking one gave us a little bit of release in between each rep because we moved the hands this one not so much so <laughs> not any so you can really feel the overload in the muscles feel it in my traps the backs of my shoulders oh Really good one. Eating my own hair here, that's not nice. All right, last 10 seconds. And then we've got an upright row to deadlift. Okay, so what we're trying to do with these ones so an upright row, try and roll up onto your toes and then down and back up. So the deadlift part of it is just straight down, straight up. Then you roll on your toes, you pull the weights up, leading with your elbows. So it's as if you're trying to hit underneath your boobs with the weights. Down, roll up. So you've got a calf raise. Hopefully you can guess where that works. That works the calves. Then you've got the upright row, which is shoulders. And then the dead lift, oh, I missed the pull there. <laughs> dead lift, pull, and dead. So the dead lift again for the glutes and hamstrings, pull. And then once you've got that going on, you can pull it a little bit higher above the chest, sort of under the chin, as long as you're not doing that pony thing with your wrists. So a lot of people will roll like this. I know when you're doing that, and your elbows at the highest point. So a lot of people kind of their hands come up here. We don't want the hands coming up, elbows. So there's a lot going on in this one. It's quite technical. And it's very easy to get this wrong because you kind of get into a bit of a rhythm and a flow and you start going quickly and lose your form. We want to be on point. So perfect form and one perfect rep is much better than 300 million incorrect. So, form all the way. Last 10 seconds-ish now. And these are compound moves. So we've got big muscles in the legs and butt, followed by the little muscles in the shoulders, clean and press. Drop into squat and push, down and release. So like the one we did, we did squat press earlier, and I gave you this option that you might wanna do the bicep curl. Now I didn't do it because I knew squat, clean and press was coming up. So it's very similar to that first one. However, you've got this bicep curl in as well. And you might feel like me, getting a bit out of breath. Yeah, you're working. Oh, so many muscle groups. Glutes, quads, hammies. You're working biceps, triceps, shoulders, chest, back. So of course, it's gonna be getting a bit challenging.
the next one you've got pauses so you are going to be getting your rest or active recovery should i say not rest because you'll still be moving but this is the end of our first 20 minutes so we are halfway through which is a great place to be that's like being on the top of the mountain made it all the way up there and then all you've got to do is come back down the other side squat clean and press nearly done you've got to squat stop next so you're going to drop into squat not yet because the beats aren't gone but i'm just telling you and then a slow rise so you're going to drop down as low as you can go hold two three four slowly up squat drop and hold and then slowly rise so count your four one two three four one two three four down two three four rise two three four drop and push good squat drop hold and rise good down hold and push down and push good so you're gonna hold it two three four and push slowly 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 drop stop and push again drop stop and push halfway through drop and stop now your knees your hips your ankles will determine how low you go in your squat you've got dodgy knees and push then don't go as deep good and if you've got really dodgy knees and you can't do the hold then just do a nice gentle rep of singles shallow squats drop the weights of course that's going to take a bit of extra off good drop stop and push lovely drop stop and push nice stop and push so yeah there's a mixture in here we've done some compounds upper body lower body combined we've done some isos we just did lovely we're going to do a overhead press now so pushing the shoulders up you can do both arms together you can do this standing the only thing with standing is people tend to sway and push and i don't want you to do that so if you come down to one knee it stops you doing that you can do it sitting it just eliminates all the back sway excuse me a second so you can do this one arm at a time if you're finding both arms difficult you can do one at a time it just depends i guess um, how heavy your weights are so overhead press when i used to gym all the time before even i was teaching this was one of my favorite exercises in the gym overhead press used to be able to do about 40k it was incredible nowadays i struggle with one and a half and that's the way it goes unfortunately but 40 kilos was probably for a maximum of 10 reps we're doing two solid minutes here so i think i'd be probably challenged to do 20 kilos just to maybe an olympic bar 2025 but it's not how much weight it's that we keep moving we keep doing it keep trying don't give up that's the most important thing keeping us active <sighs> nice quite a few for the sort of upper body shoulders in the next minutes Ooh. okay come on up i want you to take as deep a squat as you feel capable bring your weights up in front and hold your hands together rolling around the head so i do 
did say that I'd offer options for, so really try and sit and low into the legs for bands and I haven't done that. So you can have a band under a foot and you're going one direction. We'll change direction in a minute. Whew. Rolling it round. Good. Obviously, if you can't bend your knees, you can come off with straight legs, but it will start to feel in your back. If that's the case, you can drop the weights down. If you're struggling to sit in this horsey stance. Lots of horses in my class today, isn't it? Hobby horses, horse stance. Okay, I'm gonna change direction. So just look at this one, see how you're going round, and then roll it round the other way. Roll it round the other way. And this might feel really weird, because this will be your unnatural rotation. Whew. So just notice that, and just be aware. Try and use your abs and obliques. This is, again, compound movement, looking at lots of different muscles, including the obliques, the abs. Whew. Back, shoulders, chest, legs. It's oh, a great one. I love exercises that do the whole body. It just makes you feel very good. But then again, as I say, overhead press used to be one of my favorites. And that's looking to isolate as much as possible the shoulders. So, horses for courses, another horse reference. Oh my gosh. Okay, shoulder raise. So it's one, two, together and then in front up up together lateral lateral together frontal frontal together again you can sit down do a little squat lateral lateral together frontal frontal together now of course if you don't like this combo you can do doubles you can do just singles you don't have to do any doubles so you're going side side double front front double same with this if you don't like the frontal raises just do the lateral if you don't like the lateral just do the frontal loads of different combinations you can do you come into shoulder height here don't go too high so you're not flapping up shoulder height shoulder height shoulder height shoulder height shoulder height again so just putting it in there, just so it's a bit varied. You don't have to vary it. You don't have to compound. You can do what you like as long as you're moving. <sighs> Last 30 seconds. Nice sexy shoulders. We might, this country, get a summer at some point, which should be here now. All we've had so far is rain <laughs> and cold yesterday so if we do get that sunshine we want nice shoulders so keep going one more here frontal frontal and lift all right we are going into what <laughs> down for abs okay so we're going to go long in long in so you can see I'm doing both legs, both arms. Options here are no legs, just crunch up. I have still got my weights in my hand. Option two is one leg and change sides, alternating. Option is just the legs, no arms. And then the one that I gave at the beginning is arms and legs come in. And imagine that somebody has popped you in the belly button with love. Oof. And you've just kind of crunched up, but oh, this is the exercise that's doing that. So pull that belly button in. I gave this to my Pilates class last night. Nice and strong. Whoosh. In and out. Well done. After this, we're three quarters of the way through. We've just five exercises remaining. So if you're starting to wane, thinking about going and doing something else and switching off, Stay with it. 
We're into that final 10 minutes very, very soon. And then there's a little stretch if you want it. And then we've all done. So if you've made it this far, try and keep going. Good to finish it. But of course, if you want to, you can always take a stretch now and head for the shower. I was not expecting to sweat this much. Resistance. <laughs> This is the longest two minutes ever. Has the thing switched off? Is it broken? No? <laughs> oh my goodness me. Okay. That double lunge, pulsing lunge. Okay, so you're going to stay low. Low, low, step, low, lift. Low, low, step, low, lift. Pulse it out, step, low, squat, rise. Take it back, step low, rise. Pulse and pulse and step, lift. Whew. So it goes one and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Whew. So when you step in, you stay low. When you've got low from the lunge, Stay low on that leg. I'll just turn side. Pulse, pulse, low, lift. Okay. Whew. How good does it feel to be in the last five exercises? Pulse and pulse. I, I'm literally running and wet with sweat. I really was not expecting that.
and then double with a squat down. So it's double as in both arms and it's double as in two. Down up, down up. So no, bite, uh, no squat, no squat, both arms, both legs, both arms, both legs. Again, just messing with reps. You can just stand and do no squats and just do singles and alternate. You can do both doubles and no legs. If you've got a band, you can have the band under your foot and do it with a band. And loads of options. Single, single and double up. Lovely. Single, single and double up. So doubling up arms and legs, doubling up double bicep. Single, single, double. And I think when you've got one of these, you tend to think, right, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? And when you're doing that and you're concentrating, the time goes much quicker. When you've got something that's a little easier, we tend to notice every second. So having these funky combos really helps us to take our focus away from time. And it just goes by on its own merry way. Lovely. A single, single, and double up. Last two exercises, we're gonna be down on the floor and you're gonna have the option to include some abs as well. Single, single, last one, double up, finish it, come on down. So we're gonna start with chest flies. So knees bent, feet flat, hands up above the waist, opening and closing. Okay, now if you wanna do a bit of abs as well, Legs in tabletop, press your back into the floor. If you can't do both legs, do one. Maybe count 10 reps and then swap, or count 20 reps and then stop. Okay, flies down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. Don't rush them, so even though you're flying, you're not flapping. With these light weights, there is a tendency to want to flap and go quicker. Remember, the slower you go, the more you're going to be working against that resistance. Quickly, we'll start to bring in momentum and other physics, biomechanics. So nice and slow and steady. Out. And if you're really going fast, out, pulse and squeeze. Out, pulse and squeeze. That will slow you down because you can't just go up and down. You have to go out, pulse and squeeze out pulse and squeeze. Keep watching those legs, make sure they're not drifting. Make sure they're in a good position. And at any point, if you need to put the legs down, try and keep the arms going, but let the legs release. Huh. This is great. I was not expecting to have such a great workout this morning. I thought this would be a nice, easy one. Nice and <laughs> calm. Definitely wasn't expecting to get all sweaty and breathy. So, good. Now, feet down, arms overhead at full extension. You're gonna bring the weights in and then crunch, okay? So back and down. In, crunch. So you've got pull over, chest and back, and then ab crunch. Okay, pull first, then lift. Don't pull and lift, so don't do the two together like this so you're just rocking in. It goes one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So get that tempo right where you're isolating the pullover from the crunch. So don't do the two together. It's okay to combine them. You just won't really get in much in terms of pullover. So chest and back, if you're combining them. Okay, so separate them out. Take it to compound. Crunch and over. And again, you can pull the legs up into your tabletop. Same thing, but you're just going to take fingers towards the knees. Push. Lovely. Up. 
push. This, I believe, is our last exercise together today. Whew. Here was me thinking I was going to do this and I was going to need to do something else later on to make sure I got my full workout in today. Maybe a bit of a, a worry bit later, but no way, this is good. I've got this again this evening, that'll just see me off. Uh, nice. Nearly there. All right, last one. Great, pop those weights down, rock the knees from side to side, just a quick stretch. Lovely, come up to sitting. Just take a lateral flexion over towards one side. And then the other way, stretching out. Oh, that feels so good. I can feel everything going. Release, release, release. Lovely, come up onto your knees, please. Step one foot forwards and press through. And then you can take an arm across and do a shoulder stretch as well. And then pull back for hamstrings. Lovely. Let's step the other one forwards. Ooh, that knee. And shoulder as well. And pull back for hamstrings. Oh. Lovely. Come on up. Take a quad stretch. So hand to foot if you can. If not, just hook it on the chair behind you. And just sink down and swap. Lovely. Bring those elbows onto your knees and just roll up the spine, stretching out the lower back. And roll up. Push the arms away, stretching out the upper back. Take the arms behind, open up the chest. <sighs> Lovely. Reach one hand forward as if you're asking for something and gently pull back. Or you can place the hand on the wall or the countertop and just pull that back. Lovely. And then the other side. Take the arm up and over. Take a tricep stretch. I'm holding on to the elbow here and pulling down. You can take the hand behind or you can press on the fleshy part just wherever you feel comfortable. Just make sure you can still breathe. And then open up and change sides. Oh, nice, I hope you got sweaty too. And then just taking a deep breath in. Fill the lungs and away. Do that again, please. And away. Nice, the three's a charm. Pull it in, pull it out, oh, and down. Good, give yourselves a round of applause. Have a lovely day, enjoy everything you're doing. I'll see you next time. Well done.